Okay, so in under 10 minutes here, I'm going to try to build you these six objects so that you have a little more versatility with what you can do. Um, I'm going to start here by going into uh, hit Alt Z, gets me out of my texture viewport mode and puts me into solid viewport mode. I'm going to go Shift A and create a cube. The first thing we're doing is the lean to shed. So I've made a cube. I'm going to hit tab to go into object edit mode sorry edit mode make sure you've got edge select on grab this first edge G to grab Z to move it in the vertical plane only now we've got the lean to we want to create an edge on this roof so we're gonna go into face select grab this top face we're gonna go E to extrude and create a set of points Hit escape to collapse them on themselves S to scale them E to create another set of points, but we want them to move just straight up and down, so vertically. Z. Z will then confine it to the Z axis only, and we've got our lean to. Okay, so tab to get back into object mode, G to grab this, X to move it out of my way for now. So then Alt Z is going to put me back where I can see what I'm trying to do. We're going to do the gable. We kind of did this in the previous. I'll show you a different way to do it here though. Make sure that we're deselected here, so hit A to deselect the other object. Shift A. Shift A to create another cube. Alt Z to get back into our viewport shading. Tab to go into edit mode. And then on this one, we're going to uh, Control R to create a loop cut. It's purple. If you go to any edge here, it will create a different loop cut in a different direction. But I want it in this vertical, so left mouse click to establish it. We can move it now, but I want it to be dead center, so hit escape. It's in the center. Left mouse click to establish that. Make sure you're in edge select here, which is the middle one. Grab the, the middle edge here, which is the top of the roof. G to grab, Z to move it. All right. So we're almost done here with that. We're going to go back to face select mode. Pick the top faces, just like before. Create a new set of points, E to extrude, escape to collapse, S to scale them. And now you could be done if you want to be. You can also create uh, some facing or facade on that, that roofing if you want. And so you can E to extrude another set of points. And you're basically done. Now the only thing I don't like with this one is you've still got an extra edge on these. so. Make sure you're in edge select mode here. Let's grab these extra edges, X, and dissolve those edges. Now additionally, we've got some stuff on the bottom. I delete the bottoms of these. We don't need those. You're not going to see them in the game. So select those, and then X to delete and choose uh, faces. Now the only other thing is those lines that were drawn down here created a new vertice at the bottom. You can't see it now, but if you go into vertex view, you will see you've got an extra point here on each of these. It's not a big deal, but uh, just to be clean, pick those points with shift and left mouse, and then just go ahead and dissolve those vertices. So that's all cleaned up. So I'm going to go ahead and tab to get it back into object mode. And this is selected. Let's get that out of the way. G to grab, move it on the X axis. Deselect it now with A. All right. And then let's Alt Z. We'll create this butterfly here. Same sort of thing, but then you're just going to intrude it versus uh, the middle part or drop the middle part lower on the Z axis. So Shift A, make the cube, Alt Z to go back into the other shading view, Tab to go into edit mode. We're going to loop cut again. All right, we want it in the center, so hit escape. The loop cut was with Control R, left mouse click to establish it. Going to go into edge select mode, grab that middle middle piece there, just that middle edge only. G to grab, Z to move it on the Z axis, and now we're kind of there. We're going to go into the face select, hold down shift while left mouse clicking each of those. We're going to e to extrude a new set of points, escape, S to scale them, e to extrude another set of points, and we're done. Now you'd go clean this up just like we did on the other ones. 
I'm on a time crunch, so we're not really going to do it here. All right, next one, Alt-Z, so we can view that. Hip roof, we kind of did that as well. We're, we did top-down in the other video. We'll try to do it off the cube in this one, so A to D select, Shift-A. Going to make a cube, Alt-Z, get me back into the correct viewport shading. Tab to get into edit mode. And then go into face select. We're going to grab this top face. We're going to do a little differently here, but we're going to eat extrude and create a new set of points. We're going to S to scale them. So this is going to create the little lip on my roof. And then we're going to do eat extrude again. And now we're creating a flat roof, but we're going to fix that. So extrude this uh, to the height of the roof that you'd want it to be. And then left mouse click to establish that. And then um, you're going to do I now to intrude this. And then you can grab it with G and move it into Z. So um, it's kind of the idea. Let me get rid of this. Let's do it um, as more of a rectangle so you can see the effect. Shift A, choose a cube, tab to go into edit mode, grab this face here. G to grab, y, <coughs> y to move it in the Y axis only. Now let's grab this face. And I'll show, show you something different here that you can do as well. So we grab the top, top face, I to intrude, and then move it in close. You don't want to pass. You can see it creates something goofy there. So you want to just bring it ever so close, but don't pass. And then... Um, We're going to move this in the Z, so G to grab, move it in the Z, so just press Z, and now you've got that. Now the only thing I didn't do here is we don't have our lip for the roof. And so to fix that, we need an extra set of points to bring in to narrow this. So what you can do here is you can go to your trusty loop cut, so you can do Control R, create a loop cut, move it way up here. It's going to create an extra set of points all the way around this object and then left mouse to establish that. So now that we have that, we can select all these edges on the remainder of the building. And we're gonna just scale them all in. And so if I've got them all selected, just, just the edges, and hit S to scale, you can see, well now we brought it in. And then we'll fix this here where we just select the top edges. So hold down shift, left mouse click on all these. and then G to grab and just move them in the Z. And you can see now you fix that up, okay? So that's just a different way to do the gable roofing. Tab to get out of this mode, G to grab, move this in the X. Alt Z. All right, so this one's a little different. This is the gambrel here. This one's kind of fun. A to get out of that or deselect. Shift A, I'm gonna start this one actually as a plane and uh, Alt-Z to get back in the right viewport shading. Tab to get into edit mode. We're gonna do some loop cuts to start, so we're gonna do Control-R. And now you can see I've got the one purple line, but if you mouse wheel up, you can get, get as many lines as you want. I think there's some upper limit. And mouse wheel down, it brings them down. Well, for this gambrel or whatever the name of that one was, you want these three lines, so left mouse click, establish that. Okay, now what I'm going to do is all three of these are selected. I'm going to go G to grab, move them all in the Z, and then just grab that middle line and G to grab. That's left mouse to select, G to grab, move it in the Z. So now if you look, we're basically where we want. However, these sides, I want them to be in uh, a little more narrow. So we're going to bring them in simultaneously. And we do that by edge selecting each of them. So hold down shift and left mouse click. Now you can see they're edge selected. Now if you scale them, if you hit S and scale, you'll see it brings them in, but it's also bringing them in on the uh, Y axis. So you don't want to do that, Control Z. So what you can do is S to scale, but constrain it to the X axis only here. And you'll see now we didn't distort it. So you do that by, um, come back and do that again for you, Control Z. You've got each of the edges selected. You're gonna hit S to scale and X to bring it in. 